Hi guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. Um, and if you can't read what's written under Forbidden, it says, How can something so wrong feel so right? And oh my god, I love this book so much. It's amazing. There was nothing about this book that I disliked and considering how critical I am when it comes to reviewing books and just reflecting on every aspect of a book, for me to say that there was nothing about a book that I disliked, it's something extremely rare and valuable. The plot of this book, it talks about a very taboo topic, um, siblings falling in love with each other. And I know some people's reaction can be of complete disgust and think it's absolutely insane. But let me tell you more about the plot. So the book is about these five siblings, um, but it mainly focuses on the two older ones, Maya and Lachan. Lachan? Lachan? I don't know, his name is really hard for me to pronounce. I don't know if it's because I speak Portuguese and it's hard for me to pronounce the sound, but I'm going to show you guys the name. So this is the name of the boy. Lachen. 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 I don't know. I'm just going to say L. So the book is about Maya and L. Oh my god, it sounds like it's a girl's name, L. So it discusses how these um, brothers have a neglective mother that is drunk and doesn't give them any attention and um, um, their father left when they were really young. So they're basically on their own in the world and the older siblings, Maya and Lachlan, oh my god. <laughs> They are the ones in charge of the younger siblings and it's really important for them to make sure everything is under control in the house because they want to do everything to avoid having the children be separated, taken by social services. So they basically live a life like adults, like parents. and. That's their situation. And Maya and Elle, they, um, they've always felt more like best friends, um, closer than siblings. And we get to see how over time um, they get even more closer to each other and they enter this romantic relationship. I really enjoyed uh, the author's writing style. Uh, she was extremely poetic and I really like um, sort of poetry behind the writing and she managed to use a very poetic style of writing to express this romance between Maya and Elle and it was beautifully written and I know the idea of incestuous relationship um, is a little bizarre and some people might be repulsed but the author managed to do it in such a refined, delicate way and it was just amazing. Their story was beautiful and um, I'm always looking for that spark in books, like that thing when I'm reading a book that I'm gonna have tingles in my stomach and goosebumps as I read it and that's exactly how this book made me feel. It was so incredibly amazing. We get to see this inner struggle between Maya and L, L, and uh, their feelings towards each other and they're very rational about their situation that they're brother and sister and if they found and if anyone finds out about their relationship uh, the kids could be separated and they could be sent to prison because that's the punishment for incestuous relationship even if it's consensual. And that really angered me and it made me think a lot about the topic and who is allowed to love each other. Why do we have to intervene if it's true love and they're not affecting anyone? Because that was Maya and Elle's case. Um, 
it was so pure and so they weren't harming anyone. There was a part I think that Elle um, says when he's like, we get to see around school all these couples that they um, date multiple people and they do very immoral things. Why can me and Maya stay together if we're not harming anyone, if our love is so pure and deep? And it really impacted me and um, I think I started reading this book um, a little iffy about the topic but by the end of it I was really um, passionate about their situation and I was rooting for them to be together so bad. The ending is absolutely amazing. It is so powerful and beautiful. I don't want to give out too much because trust me the ending makes this book amazing. I think every part of the book makes it amazing but the ending just closes it with a gold key. I was weeping so hard and I don't remember the last time I cried this hard reading a book. So that's how emotional and strong and powerful um, the ending is. So I would recommend this book to everyone even if you were a little bit iffy about the topic like I was in the beginning um, you should read it and maybe your opinion about the subject might change like it did for me however and I need to make this clear this book is very descriptive and explicit on the more intimate scenes so if you were too young I wouldn't recommend you reading this book um, yeah I think if you were younger than 14 or 15 um, you should wait till you're a little bit older to get your hands on this book but if you're older than 14, 15 definitely um, get this book it's amazing it's definitely going on my top five all-time favorite um, books and I just love it so I hope this review was helpful to you and if any of you have read Forbidden or if you're thinking about reading Forbidden let me know and we can have discussions about the book. I would be very interested in that. Sure, it would be very enjoyable. And if you have any questions, post them below and I'll get back to you. And uh, I'll be posting on the down bar my Twitter, GetReads, and my personal YouTube channel. So if you want, um, check those out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.